Sawadee Cup and welcome to Phuket Extra for another day. Really feeling like high season weather out there today. We'll share a bit more of the Loi Kratong celebrations later in the program, but first to today's main stories from Phuket and Thailand. And the trash and rubbish that was recovered off the ocean floor off Koron Beach on Monday was from overseas sources, according to Governor Jamlon. But he urged tour boats to take enough garbage bags with them to do their best to avoid more of the same problem when divers pulled out 400 kilograms of rubbish from the Koron Beach seabed. Phuket Marine Chief says that anyone caught dumping rubbish in the sea will get a 10,000 baht fine, six months in jail, or both. A man who found 10,000 baht near a restaurant close to the Kosare traffic circle and took it to police has been commended for his honesty. 61-year-old Lungwon Superlert said he would have been unable to sleep at nights for feeling guilty. Well, the idea of a passenger ferry to carry tourists from the airport to Serena or Patong has resurfaced at the governor's meeting with local honorary consuls. With Phuket's main arteries clogging up, the concept of a ferry or hydrofoil service is being revisited. A proper terminal at the airport and piers at the drop-off points would need to be constructed and the environmental impact tested. Coming up next, the sunbeds returning to Phuket's northern beaches and taxis getting cheaper on the island. That's all coming up next on Phuket Extra. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Grab Taxi, the new taxi service accessed through mobile phone apps, is cutting its fees by 20%. The cut is a direct response to its main competitor, Uber, cutting its fees. And more cuts are expected. Grab Taxi, supported by the Governor and Provincial Hall, is the first real competition for Phuket's taxis and their extortionate fares. Overseas financial consultants are saying Thailand should increase the average retirement age from 55 to reduce the government's pension expenditure. In the Pension Sustainability Index, compiled by Allianz, Thailand ranks the lowest, and the country is expected to have one of the greatest proportions of elderly people within the next 35 years, together with Taiwan and South Korea. 55, really? And if you're looking for some sunbeds and an umbrella, make your way up to Laham Beach next to the Dream Beach Club. That's the old Nikki Beach Club. Clean, neat rows of comfortable lounges await. Legal or otherwise, we're not sure. We weren't very impressed at the restaurant's rubbish pit out the back though, thanks to the viewer who sent in those pics. All right, to today's weather and the strong northeasterly airflow continues out of the South China Sea. We still expect a few thunderstorms to build up during the afternoon. Tomorrow's top is 31, as we seem to be settling into the high season weather. Let's hope so. Well, that's all for Phuket Extra today. You can catch the daily news on Facebook or YouTube and watch it anytime, anywhere. Thanks for all the positive comments. And we'll finish today with some of the family Loy Kratong activities here in Phuket last night. We'll see you again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadee kap. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.